Hello everyone. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to conduct a Moodle analysis. Moodle analysis is one of the most important for uh, the dynamic analysis and also to know the natural frequency and natural time period of the structure. For a correct model analysis, you should get at least 90-85% of the mass participation in the model analysis. So we already have a structure. In this tutorial, I will not go to model. This is a little irregular structure. Uh, we applied date load, live load, and also earthquake load. So, but just we want to consider the model analysis and take the time period and natural frequency of the this structure. We go to the define. The first thing is we should define the mass source because in the model analysis we should def give the mass of the structure. And then the mass of the structure will take the mood shape and the mood shape will define the nat natural periods and also the mass participation. Now we go to the masses so we can see the masses it's a default. Now I'm going to call specific load. Mostly we use 100% of the dead load and we use 25% of the live load for the model analysis. Now we called OK. OK, and we could define here load cases. In the load cases, here is called model. We go to modify. <coughs> One uh, question always rising. How many mode we should request? There is approximate equation. You can take the number of history times by two. Now the number of history is ten. We want to take twenty. In this twenty mode shape, if we didn't reach to ninety-five percent of the mass participation, then we should increase the number of mode to get the 90 or 85% mass participation. Now, here is some parameter we should fix. There is two type of uh, model analysis. One is called eigenval eigenvalues and other is rates. Some researcher recommend use rates and someone recommend use eigen but in case if you have any doubt regarding which one is correct and which one is wrong please read uh, one two book or one two article and also conduct the same model with both in case if anything has changed then you will uh, and also you can calculate handily and then make a comparison which one is correct and which one is approximate now in this one i will use icon in the advance i will check that ones i want to consider in the model analysis acceleration which is the deformation yeah, I will use that so that mostly we use load type in a, in etaps. We don't have uh, the in the load type displacement. Just we have acceleration. But in the load name we take u x. Here the target mass participation ratio. We want to uh, actually say that ninety percent, eighty five percent. So I want should be 90 percent in the code it's recommended should be greater 85 percent 
now I can take 90% and also because the structure will move in X Y Z so I should give both direction three direction and this is in the three direction should consider 90 percent mass and also in the Z now we giving this thing and the mass sources will take here and so everything is fixed now we can go to ok ok and the model is already safe now I can go to the analyze and set load case to run uh, I select all to don't run the first is I want to run the model just I want to take the uh, model and okay now it's start to do the model analysis just um, one example is uh, like uh, in case we want to take get the time period of the structure in the 20 mood we didn't reach to a, uh, a good result uh, like if I uh, this is a 10 story so it should be about one second or 1.1 or 1.2 or 0 0.9 about this but if, in case it's become larger so that means the model analysis not correct uh, now the model analysis completed and uh, here is the result which i said it should be 1.1 or 0 0.9 uh, the, fortunately it's 1.2 which is acceptable in case if i uh, uh, conduct a, a manual calculation so exactly i will get this number now uh, i want to uh, see because this structure is irregular now what is next I want to go to the display here in the shoe table in the shoe table here is called uh, structure output this is called model information and the first one is model period and frequency and the second table is model participation mass now I'm OK and it will give me all the data so in the first mode we have this which is the natural period of the structure here so we uh, don't need anything else yeah we want to see the mass participation here is the mass participation here is the this is the natural period and uh, natural frequency and here is model mass participation now in the first mode in the first mode here is this match in the sum of UEX and sum of UY in the last period in the last uh, mode it is reached to 100% to 100% 200% this is 200 100% uh, so this is how you confirm that the model analysis correct if in the 20 it didn't reach to 90 percent 
so the your model analysis was not correct you should add more mode now here's one question sometimes you see the the model uh, the um, mass participation in the in the mode 2 3 already reached to the 19 it doesn't mean your model analysis wrong now here the mass participation already reached in the mode 5 and 6 so that means your model analysis correct so this was the end of tutorial if you have any question please put in the comment and i will find time to answer you see you next time